CES 2015 The charger that boosts battery in seconds I've just been witness to what feels like a modern-day technological miracle. A Samsung smartphone has just been recharged from being nearly out of juice to full capacity in less time than it takes to boil a kettle. The Israeli startup behind the demo, Stordat, has shown off a similar feat before. But a previous demo posted online eight months ago involved a battery many times thicker than the handset itself as well as an outsized charger making the tech impractical for real-world use. This time round the phone involved is no bigger than normal, and the charging dock is pretty slimline as well. There's a couple of trade-offs involved but being able to recharge devices about 100 times faster than at present has the potential to revolutionize the way we use mobile phones, tablets, laptops and wearable tech. Stordat's ambitions, however, are even larger. Organic batteries The BBC is the first to have been shown the new kit, apart from tech industry executives who had to sign non-disclosure agreements. It's not something that can be retrofitted to existing devices, since most phones would be fried by the 40 amps of electricity the current version of the charger supplies. It also involves using a completely new type of battery, which contains specially synthesized organic molecules. We have reactions in the battery that are non-traditional reactions that allow us to charge very fast moving ions from an anode to a cathode at a speed that was not possible before we had these materials, explains Doro Meyersdorf, the company's chief executive. He adds that phone makers from the US, South Korea, China and Japan have already begun talks to either license or buy exclusive rights to the tech, and that he has 17 meetings at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, CES in Las Vegas with all the major players. But Mr. Meyersdorf also acknowledges that there is still more work to be done before his tech is ready for consumers. Stordat has a 2017 goal of matching the energy density the amount of energy stored per kilogram of its own batteries and the lithium-ion ones commonly found in existing handsets. The firm's prototypes currently deliver about a third of that rate meaning the normal-sized handset used in the demo only held 900 mR of juice, and would have to be recharged several times a day were it deployed now albeit only taking two minutes to do so each time. The company also showed off a 2000 mR battery, which took three minutes to recharge, but the phone that housed it had been made 5 mm, 0.2 in, thicker than normal to accommodate its girth. By the 2017 deadline, Stordat also aims to halve its current charging times. Abramovic backing at this point it's probably wise to offer a caveat. The tests involved the BBC being shown a graphical readout to prove the batteries were being recharged as fast as suggested. This would be relatively easy to fake and Mr. Meyersdorf acknowledges that his scientific claims have yet to be peer-reviewed but his credentials and those of his chief technology officer, Professor Simon Lite, check out. Both held key roles at Sadisk, which they helped make a leader in flash memory tech. Furthermore, their firm has already raised $48.5 million, £32.1 million of funds. $10 million of which came from Russian tycoon Roman Abramovica's private asset management company. The BBC understands Samsung is among the other investors. Any claim to a major breakthrough should always treat it with skepticism because it's been promised so many times before and we still don't have a solution. But if what this company is claiming to offer comes to pass, it would have a huge impact as the amount of battery-hungry connected devices people use in their daily lives is rising exponentially. Certainly, CES itself is packed with firms offering a plethora of portable batteries to help users make it through the day, everything from lipstick-sized chargers for emergency top-ups to a $500, £300, 
backpack that can power up several gadgets at once. Were we able to recharge smartphones in less than a minute, the need to buy such external batteries would decrease and we might even become more willing to use processor-intensive apps and games, as well as adopt smartwatches and other wearable tech.